You can also add in a pivot table inside of Google Data Studio. In order to do that, you need to click on add a chart and you can scroll down over here until you see pivot table as an option as you can see. If you were to go around and click, now you can see a pivot table right here. Go around onto add a chart and then here you can see another pivot table is an option over here as well. And if you were to go around over here, there's another pivot table over here as well. So there's different type of pivot tables that you can add in as you can see. So right now, this is actually based on off of the uh, 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 um, the uh, total as you can see right here. So you can also go around and add in a console right here. And what happens is that it changes out the data accordingly right here. So you can also bring in the total over here down onto column dimension and you can see the chart and that is the uh, table accordingly right here. Similarly for the other pivot tables as well, that simply has a different look. You can go around and add in console over here and it'll get displayed accordingly over here as you can see just like this. You can do the same for this one as well. So you can go around, add in um, different dimensions over here and you will be able to see all of the details just like this. And that is how you can work around with the pivot table and on the style you can also change around the color of this according to how you want like change around the background color and so forth as with any other charts. So that is how you can work around with pivot table inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.